everybody, welcome to the podcast. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. So watch this or listen. I don't know. Stupid. It's okay. You've been out of the you've been out of the game for a little bit. Been on vacation. Just, okay. I think magic was in my beard. <laughs> it probably was. You've lost it. No. <laughs> Why? <God. laughs> Why? Hey everyone. Hey guys. <laughs> How's it going? How you doing? Oh, you good? It's just excellent. Oh, there we are. <laughs> um, we want to let you guys know about something really, really neat that we're doing. It's called Build Your, your brand. brand. Go to sundaycool.com forward slash build your brand. Guess what? We have fully customizable swag packages for you mm-hmm. and for your brand to make your brand the best it could possibly be. Yeah, that means you we do more than just shirts. So Whatever art that you have on a shirt, you can throw it on a hat, a note jotter, a water bottle, a wristband, anything you like. And we have these packages already built for you. So all you have to do is just get with us and we can create your art for you if you don't have some already. And we can make your brand beautiful. It's going to make you stand out. It's going to unite you and your community. And it's going to be a really big deal. Yeah. So go to sundaycool.com for slash build your brand. Brand. Man, I feel like this has been really wholesome. A little ASMR kind of. Yeah. This hurts my back standing like Does this. Does it? I kind of like it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Back to the show. Andy, what was your favorite thing that you did in St. Augustine? The uh, the oyster wall? Yeah. Dude. Like some, the, the tour guide literally is like, I want you to see this. Uh, one, it's impressive. Yes. But two, every shell was someone's meal. Oh. And I'm like, oh my God goodness that completely like made me look at that whole wall completely different wow of just like that was literally what they did to survive and that's what they and then after a while they started like putting the shells apparently just in piles and stuff yeah and then after it rained and everything it became solid and so they realized that's what they could make (gasps) walls out of yeah and so it just became part of their culture and it was just like the neatest thing okay it's terrifying thinking about the guy also explained well sorry to interrupt but the guy uh explained how like it would have felt for these um, you know, seven feet tall Native Americans yeah. hiding in the bush, you know, barefoot, seeing these people run up on ships covered in shiny armor oh my gosh. that reflects light. The skin's like white, like things they've never seen before. And so just like he explained it like in such a cool way of like a story, like it just made you feel like you were there. Whoa. Yeah, it was really intense. He came at it from an anthropological position. Mm. Anthropological? You, made, you literally just made that up. No, anthropology. Is it called anthropological, though? Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, I went on the... Anthropologist. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I see. The, what, what they were saying, their point of it view. Was, yeah, the yeah. point of view was anth- very anthropological. About that wall <laughs> that we were talking about, I also took a tour with the girls while we were there with my mom, and it was so enriching. And he was talking about how that wall has so much bacteria in it. Oh, I can't even imagine. And he said that... Um, one day he said, you know, it's hot out here. So our pores are open. We're sweating. And she, he said, one day this girl was leaning on it and she was touching it with her hand. Uh-huh. And then she went and touched her face. Oh, no. She had a bacterial infection. It was in the hospital for three days. Jeez. Bacteria. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Ew, right? That's, yeah. that's the fort? No, it's on, uh, what's that street called? Like Magnolia Street or something yeah, with made, the that, trees? Yeah, it's the one that's Forrest Gump's road. That's the house. At, and what? At the end of the street is Forrest Gump. <laughs> That's what they said. That. Yeah. No, they, that's a lot. Dude, it's a huge. You, look at the house. It's in abnormal. Uh, I mean, the house is amazing. It's insane. It's very, very big. It was being renovated while I was going to college there. Really? Uh, that's not true. And that's what they said. Did you look it up? Forrest Gump house location. Got the St. Augustine fact checker over here. Also, there's. Um, I realized how um, uppity that school is. What school? Watch it. Oh, okay. Flagler. Yeah, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, so Flagler. Th- so there's this area. I don't know if you know this, but there's this area out there that has a bunch of palm trees and stuff. But it's like very strategically placed palm trees, and they're like two next to each other, and then yeah. like there's there's sets for hammocks. No, you think they had hammocks back in the day? It was croquet. So these rich people would come to f- down no down here seasonally whenever it was warm and they would get in their nice Those little dresses course? and they would have brunch and then they would do croquet now, with palm trees. How now, rich is that? Not when it was a college. <laughs> You're a hoity-toity. Yeah, it be- that's no. actually, it was before it was a college. And so it's just they're like, oh, yes, the finest establishment. Did you look it up? 
Yeah, I did say that. I don't believe it though. Dude, it's huge. Look, <laughs> I have a video of the house. It's absolutely it's with that huge white house that yeah, Forrest yeah. Gump lived in. So that road before they actually paved it, that's when they um uh that's that when they road? recorded it in nineteen ninety three. Wow. And so they um they filmed it. It's the one where his legs come off the braces come off and everything. I just kept on running. And I just kept on running. And then one day I just stopped. I don't want to run anymore. Ray Charles used to live in St. Augustine. Dude, it's, a, it's such a cool place. And that's where the, the Freedom hist- Trail ended. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, over by the Blue Hen where you guys had breakfast. So good. And there was places where you literally see a cannonball stuck into the wall. Yeah. That's crazy. Dude. Ooh. It's <laughs> your mouth. It's really impressive. I really- literally like 100, like 100 yards away from the ocean, this thing just hits eight feet level it's like that's like that's crazy fast i honestly think that josh says these things just to hurt <laughs> we were pulling in because he's used to it you're we, a, he's a florida native and he's just used to it he's it's not so sad we were we were driving in from anastasia and you go on the bridge of lions and then uh, you know you cross it and uh, before you is the glory that is downtown st augustine with mm-hmm. all of its amazing terracotta architecture its spanish influence it's american so- heritage like this like the way the way the architecture changes is yes. insane to me it's yes. bonkers it right is- josh right josh yes it's yes so rich in history and i'm like <laughs> oh my gosh i have goosebumps we're here and he's like meh yeah but she kind of overdoes it a bit doesn't she Oh, it's for her. <laughs> it's nostalgic. Because yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. where she grew yeah. up, like, going on vacation. For me, it's just, like, cool, cool it's town. Of, it's, it's kind of like a dirty, fake pirate city. Oh. What? <laughs> it's like taking a bullet. <laughs> Cannonball to the chest. I'm kidding. No, oh I, I think gosh. it's a cool city. I mean, it's the second oldest city in the Watch United it. States. Uh, Watch first it. oldest city. Established city. But I don't know whatever city you're talking about, Andrew. was We've already established. had this debate. On Atlantis. Atlantis. <laughs> Um. Hey, hey, how's hey. it going? Hey, bro, your energy right now is. I'm. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What happened? Energy. Yeah. Oh, did you get that new implant from like Tesla? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. You have to shake it. Oh, yeah, like a shake weight. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get energy. Nice. Whoa! whoa, 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 whoa it's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here I am. He's here, guys. <laughs> we can start the show. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> Too much. <laughs> it's like uh, Tim Robinson, whatever he takes the headset off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so good. Would you like a song? Song? Yes, sir. What are we feeling today, boys? What are we feeling today? I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm just maybe a little bit of funk. Perhaps. Whoa. Maybe a little bit of uh Wow. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, That's kinda like a nice little James Brown. Do that. Yeah. No. Get on. Oh wow. Ah. Like that? Uh, I think so, yeah. Andrew, you think you can make something real quick? Yeah, let me I have something on my phone. I just sent it over to this, so Yeah, let's, I let's think see. it's pretty impressive that we can that he can find that music that fast. Yeah, I mean like it's Dude, the future is insane. Yeah. Technology, dude, is wow. absolutely blown in my mind. Uh, it's so crazy. I built this yeah. in five seconds, so don't judge it too hard, but okay. I think you okay. guys yeah. can vibe to it. So here we go. We'll try. All right. Three, two. <laughs> yeah! Woo! All right! Get out! Ping pong!
<laughs> ah, choke. <laughs> Start to really, start the to really, <laughs> that's my favorite. It's so funny. That, uh, it's, uh, I don't know what song it is. There's a, that Michael Jackson song. Uh, Another day is gone. That yeah. song. But uh, there's a guy on Spotify who sounds like Michael Jackson. I don't know if it's AI, but he goes, Apple bottom oh, yeah. jeans, <laughs> boots with the fur. Is that your Michael impression? <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's hear yours. No. <laughs> Andrew? Terrible. That was actually really bad. I don't listen to Michael Jackson, so I don't know. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <What? laughs> Apple bottom jeans. This goes with the fur. The whole dang club was looking right at her. Um, everyone That's be good, quiet. Josh. Everyone be quiet. Um... Today's question sent in by a viewer. It's, we got a lot to talk about with this one. Ooh, I'm excited. Yep. Um, today's question sent in by a viewer. Are blind people faking it? Ooh. Someone sent that in. Yeah, they actually did. That's almost like insensitive in a way. I know, but we said we would answer all questions. We got to answer it. Yeah. I say, obviously, no. <laughs> okay. I think this, I'll, I'll go on record. No. You are on record. Yep. Record. Your honor. Andrew? Yeah, the essence of being blind implies you, it is who you are. So, no, they can't be faking it if they truly are blind. Mm. 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 Uh, I don't think they're blind. I, I, <laughs> oh. um, <laughs> I don't think they're faking it. Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. man, almost okay. got you there. Oh. Um, Lily. I don't think they're faking it, but maybe we should test it. That's actually... Yeah. I mean... Um, what? I mean, can't hurt, right? Yeah, we'll just. What was that for? I just, uh, I assumed you were. Are, you're blind, right? No, I just wear sunglasses inside sometimes. Oh, he just wears. Okay, you just. Uh, oh, so, yeah, not everyone wears, just wears. Okay, sorry. Our apologies. It's all good. All right, so it turns <laughs> out blind people are not faking it. Welcome to the show. Hey! <laughs> The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creations. You were martial arts. Fuck it, John Dante. No one was talking back to us. Uh oh. Movie magic. <laughs> Just kidding. Was Blind people aren't faking it. No, of course not. Why would someone send that in? I don't know. But you, you remember that video of the girl who. Uh, who said when she got like some type of vaccine and then like uh, she, she started like oh, she started so she like could only twitching walk out and stuff. backwards like no she whenever oh. she, it was running whenever she started running she could dock oh, at a normal pace it. but she was like walking all crazy <laughs> and just going did like you this. ever see that no she was a cheerleader yeah and it was like everyone was freaking out I was like oh my goodness do not get the like some type of flu vaccine or whatever because look what happened to this poor girl she can only talk and um, communicate normally when she's running and so the news reporter's running with her and it's this huge story it turns out she's faking it. <laughs> It was cruel. It was so she would, mean. She would literally do this like, uh, I, I can't <laughs> talk. I can't. That, do, I, hey, let's start running. Let's start running. Ruin. Well, let's start running. Hey, yeah, so I got this vaccine. And <laughs> just, wow. Ever since then, it's so weird. I can only, whenever I run, I can make complete sense. I, I'm so glad normally. we're not wasting our own tax dollars <laughs> and news stories for this. <sighs> That made me out of breath. I was just fake <laughs> running in place on a seat. Fake running. Oh, fake running will do it. Um, how's Wait. everybody? Wait how's your week? Ooh. Wow. Ooh. What a sound. <laughs> what <was> that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get my energy, dude. Monster. <laughs> can I have a sip? Of course you can. My week was good. Uh, not as good as yours because you went on vacation. Yeah. You guys went on vacation. We did. Yeah, we did. The Hoopers are back and they're gonna get in trouble. Hey ya, hey ya, the Hoopers are back. How was vacay? Dude, that was hold on. Do that last little bit of the jingle. Hey ya, the hey. Hoopers are back. That's that's money. Hey, thanks. Wow. Yeah, it's your jingle uh, writer. It's a, that's that's yeah, it's, I totally made that up. That <laughs> melody is Have you never heard that up. song? No. <laughs> oh. Boyfriend's back and it's going to be trouble or there's going to be trouble. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> How was vacation? It was so fun. You guys went to St. Augustine, right? The beach. Yeah, we're, beach. At, yes. we're at uh, Crescent Beach, which is just, just south of St. Augustine. Oh, the city in the whole entire world. Founded in 1912. Um, but yeah, it was super fun. 
You guys uh, go there every year, right? Like it's like one of those vacation she used places. To. I okay. grew up going there like literally as a like four year old. We when I was four, we started going. It didn't like people also vacation almost like during the exact same week. So like you like yes. you knew these people from like different cities, the different Hennessy's. states, yeah, different families. Yeah, shout out so, Chris Sheffield. That's such a fun way to um, like grow up vacation. Yeah. I know it really it was so fun. Yeah, and so like my my extended family would come and they would all stay the same week. Um, but it started to break off a little bit, so we're trying to figure out what we want to do. But um. Josh yeah. has now been on two. Nice. Count them two. Because Count them two. And you guys have been together for like 10 years. And so that doesn't, what's up with that? Don't know. You just now finally got accepted into the family? Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Um, But what I love the most about going to the beach mm-hmm. is like every, beach, beach? every single day, there's a big old thunderstorm that would roll in mm-hmm. and it'd be like perfect time for nap. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. <clears throat> and um, it was the, was it the first day we were there? I still had, or there was like groceries or something in the car because we went to the store. And I went out to go get them. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it was like storming. <laughs> Crazy. And I'm telling you, this lightning bolt hit the house. I mean, 100 yards from me, if that. Really? It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So loud. And I'm like. <gasps> you heard it too? It yes. freaked me yeah. out. But I'm like. Lily for sure is going to run out here to see if I got struck. <laughs> you I, lay down, no way. I lay down. No way. Acting like I was on dead. A, on the curb, half of his body. Yeah, I was like, no. my legs sticking up. And she ran out. She's like, Josh? Josh? Uh, no. Josh? And she started crying. Oh, no. She I started crying. I was going downstairs. I was like, no way, no way, no way. She was like, Josh, please, no, Josh. That is I can't believe. I'm so glad you wait because I was like, Oh man, yeah. that's so good. I got up. I'm like, I'm all right. Oh, <laughs> she's, like, so she's like, I was cool. crying. <laughs> I thought you were dead. But then I asked, how long would you have laid there if I didn't come out? I said, you a like, long time. You oh, yeah, you come in. Yeah. Just turned around. If I didn't get her, someone else would have come <laughs> out. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was so realistic you the should... way you were on the curb. <laughs> it was like Jim Carrey when he falls off the like the tarmac of the airport. Oh, like, yeah. just... <laughs> <laughs> you should have ripped like your shirt open right here for a second. <laughs> I was even thinking, if he got struck, can I touch him or will it electrocute me too? <laughs> That's the best story ever. Yeah, I'm so glad you waited to tell the, yeah. the pod. That's so funny. <laughs> I wonder Golly. if they have, that would be so cool to find out if they had like security cameras. I know. <laughs> be, I, seeing it in your head, like you're probably like getting down. To I like, like look back. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. so funny. Good thinking. Yeah. Oh, that's great. But yeah. The beach was a blast. That's awesome. Yes. Anything crazy happen? The kids were nuts, right? Yeah. It's tough yeah. to go on vacation with a uh, two and one, one year, almost one, one year old. Yeah, seven month old. Yeah. Golly. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was great. Did you come back rested? No. 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 Probably yeah. more tired than when we left. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good old vacation right there. But it was yeah. still really fun. We tried yeah. to do cool swimming memories. lessons with Ada. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. What do you mean? She has no fear yeah. of the water. Yeah. And so we took off her little floater life jacket thing. And she like scrums out of your arms and like just like bloop in the water. Mm-hmm. She's like just underwater. And you're like, pull her up. It's like, ha, 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 ha. I'm like, that's not, Dude. you need to be a little afraid of drowning. <laughs> but, but she can't she can swim though. She can like figure it out, right? Because she, she had those swimming float. lessons. Yeah. yeah, she can float. So she knows. Yeah. <laughs> she's I, a fighter, dude. Yeah. That's so funny though. Dude, Dude but she's so fast too, man. <laughs> I know like, you showed me that video of her in the preschool and like the way she like just they they were doing like a hide and seek thing or like a, fi- a treasure hunt and then she just sprints yeah. and beats all these kids that are older than her. Yeah. Well, we're we're on the beach and the water was a little rough this day. The the current was pretty strong. Yeah. And she wasn't wearing her life jacket and she just took off towards oh, no. the ocean. Yeah. And like I it was like took off one, two, and I turned I'm like, oh no. And I had to, it was like a fast jog to catch her. Yeah. I'm like how are you so fast? They get worse. She puts her, her legs are on. this long. Yeah. yeah, but she, I mean, she has no inhibition. She's like. She runs on the she's, balls of she's, her heat. She's yeah. World War Z zombie. Oh, Seriously. Because yeah. so, there's no, like, there's no um, care about, like, your own yeah. self being. Like, it's just like, I'm going to get where I want as fast as I possibly can. Yeah. Nothing's going to stop me. Exactly. It's, it's remarkable to see. My wife was hanging out at their house. And then uh, she said Ada just, like, took off and ran from her. And Paige was like. And she's a teacher. She's with kids all the time. She knows a fast kid and a slow kid. She was like, that is the fastest human I've ever seen in my life. Uh, seriously, we got to put her in like track right now. That's yeah. so funny. Um, but speaking of the ocean, oh, I saw this today. What happened yesterday. in the ocean? Nothing. It's the co-founder of Ocean Gate. 
Okay, oh, yeah. Shoot. Submarine guy. Yeah, did you yeah. see this? No, tell oh. me. I've been out of the loop on this. I'm I excited. saw it. It has nothing to do with Ocean Gate. I think they permanently suspended Ocean Gate, the yeah. submarine thing. We would but expect. But this guy, he's starting, a, a has another company to where they're developing a inhabitable, inhabited, how you, inhabitable, 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 a spaceship you can live on. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a real thing that he's working on and no. it's going to have a thousand people living above the surface of Venus. Oh no. Who's going to do it? No <laughs> one's <laughs> going to do it. <laughs> this is the co-founder of Ocean Gate. Yeah. That, that's not going to happen. Just stop. Yeah. Just like, you know, no one's going to do that. Yeah. Venus too, like why Venus? Yeah, do something a little bit like crazy on Earth and just like learn your trust. Like yeah, yeah. you yeah. had to build our trust back, but listen, yeah. if you can't have people survive in the water on <laughs> yeah. Earth, yeah. what do you? Why do you think people would go to Venus and live on a craft yeah. above the surface? Why but who's going to believe Space Gate? <laughs> yeah, Space Gate, Space Fence. <laughs> it's not a gate; it's a fence. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was that's interesting. Would you ever do it? Not with him or. Venus what if it was? What if it was Elon? Mm, I don't think so. I would maybe do just like right above Earth. Yeah, but not over another planet. What if how you vacation in St. Augustine when you were a kid? What if your kids are taking their kids to visit like Venus for vacation? <laughs> and they're <laughs> like, oh, do we have to go back to Venus? <laughs> Come on, can it'll we, be fun. Can, kids. We, can we go to Utah or something? <laughs> no, get in the car. <laughs> get in the ship. Get in the spaceship. <laughs> Um, I think I would do it. I would live in space if I if I if it was like someone someone was already living on there. I would do it. That does yeah. change the equation. Yeah, so I'm not going to be the there. pioneer. I'm not being the trailblazer <laughs> of you know uh, intergalactic living. What if, what if there it. was a company though that was just like you want to be the first? There is a, there's a girl um, that she's training to do that. She's doing a what does that entail? Like what is training to do that? I don't Swimming. know. Swimming, just, just right? a lot of swimming at the bottom of a pool. I, I don't think so. I saw the astronauts do it. Oh, I really? That's they, part of their training. Yes. See, I don't even know, but well, it would have to be it's different. Anti, or yeah, yeah, there's no gravity, so yeah, yeah. But they're not like they're like in their suits and stuff. Oh. Um. So she's not doing that. She's on the, what I saw. She's on a. She's doing this test that is basically. It's going to be the rest of her life. Uh, no return back. Oh, my gosh. She's just getting shot into space. When is this happening? Uh, not sure. An American? Yeah. Wow. What's her reason? She just wants to be one of the pioneers of space travel and Jeez. learning things about space and living in space. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we can have a phone conversation in 1969 all the way to the president live stream, I figure we could mm. we could probably have some type of monitor that goes on a spaceship that almost replicates a human being. So how With all this AI, you, you don't have to send someone to space. Yeah. yeah. Right? I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, who, who am I to say? Yeah, who are you to say? I don't, I don't know. You're no astronaut. <laughs> I need, I'm not. <laughs> astronaut, I'm not. <laughs> um. Anyway. Yeah. But I know I would never do that. And she said, people are asking me, like, are you just giving up on life? Yeah, that's Are you okay? And she's like, I'm totally fine. She I'm signs super up happy. Like, she signs up, like, immediately after a breakup. Yeah. Like, What's the point? I don't know. <laughs> <It's> literally <laughs> what my brain went. Yeah. But it's a solo trip. Yeah, that's, she's that's, just, that's, yeah, that's crazy. She's going, going, brave. going. Like, how long Very can brave. they sustain somebody? Like, how long is she going to be alive for? I don't I have no idea. We got to figure out this girl's name. We got to support her. Can we yeah. sponsor her? No, we I never... don't support this venture of hers. Can we get do the first podcast? She's doing just... it. So why not s support her? She's an American. Yeah. <laughs> what do you hate America now? It makes me sad to think about her floating in space by herself. That's sad. That is very sad. It's like the movie. But that's the with uh, uh, what's his face? Oh, um, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, the A twenty four film. Yeah, hate that movie. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh, you should watch it, Andy. What's it called? I forget. Uh, I High love Life. It. Right. High Life. Oh, yeah. okay. Got it. I'll have to watch it. I see. That's the thing. But I don't. I don't think it is sad because maybe she's completely fine with it. Okay. That's guy just that like eats it's just at a like, restaurant with his. That's cell phone. what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not alone. I like to eat at restaurants alone sometimes. I like to go to the movie theaters by me by some time. Ah, by myself sometimes. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm maybe going out to see a movie theater, uh, a movie in the theater, a scary movie, by myself. 
Yeah, I've so, seen. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, everybody's talking about it. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it though because it's a very scary movie. <laughs> <laughs> is it the tra- trailer we yeah, saw? Yeah, yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Mm-mm, um, mm-mm. But we haven't talked about a Barbie and Oppenheimer yet. Oh yeah, but you haven't seen. <laughs> but Lily hasn't seen them, either one of them yet. No, we're gonna try okay. to go Sunday though. Never mind, we can't how, talk. How about are we gonna go Sunday? Okay. Oh. See, see, when I give options, look, look at the way she's <laughs> spicy. How, how how are we gonna do it? We're gonna go see it, dude. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Golly, she's like a puppy that you accidentally like. You accidentally blame, and then you're just like, "I'm sorry, I didn't know it was." And then she's. Like, mm. I think we need to end a segment called Kiki's Reviews because of movies. Oh, because yeah. Because not where we call her, but I just relay her information. She gave Barbie a 2 out of 10 and said, I wish I could take back that time in my life. It's so extreme, her reviews. <laughs> you know, oh she goodness. needs to call and leave voicemails for you so we can just play the voicemails. <laughs> this so- is Kiki, and this is my review of the movie Barbie. Her review <laughs> oh, was so extreme. She was like, I will babysit so that you can watch it. And relay how terrible it is, she said, but I'm sparing Josh. No, you said I loved you it. loved it. I loved <laughs> he it. He said it was so funny. Me and Kelsey were dying within the first two minutes. Like, there was a joke that, like, we crushed us in the first two minutes. We're like, this is it. This is a good movie. And I cried at the end. There was a montage at the end. Wow. As a girl dad, pretty, oh, pretty shoot, rough. Shoot. Pretty rough. I'm a boy dad. Oh. I'm a man. Oh, okay. No, you're a girl dad. <laughs> you're a little dad. Have you seen that? No, I'm boy dad. You seen that uh, wife on TikTok that she goes around? She starts calling her um, husband everything he does, like little. It's like, oh, you're gonna go to your little like little store. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna go work on your little chainsaw. It's like it's like so why are you calling it? Li- it's like it, it's emasculated. Why- <laughs> yeah, it's like it is. All right. It makes you so a man so angry for no reason. You gonna cut down that little tree with your little with your little axe? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not doing that. It's a manly axe. It's okay? a giant oak. <laughs> It's 500 years old. <laughs> it's a sequoia. Oh, um, but we did get back from vacation, and it was it was this week where our neighbors, their cat got lost or like got out and got lost. Okay. And um, the cat's name is Lily, right? Yeah. Connections. <gasps> um, but we went on a, a walk, me, Ada, <laughs> Lily, and Jane, <laughs> and we were walking down the street, and then Ada just – how she does, she just takes off yeah. and like went literally like a mile down the road. I'm like, dude. I'm not walking. It's so hot outside. She's gone. So me and Jane turn around. Yeah, you ditched me, dude. <laughs> ditched me. Me and Jane turned around and I saw a cat yeah. on the road. I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's it. Yeah. And it had a collar. So I went to look and there was no name on it. Uh-huh. So I picked it up <laughs> and like it started like scratching me. I'm like, hey, no, I'm trying to help. And I try to put it in the stroller. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> and then, like, it went, <laughs> of course it did. But I was just so, because this family was devastated. They're like, their whole family was out looking for yeah. their cat, Lily. And so I'm like, I'm going to be Did you the mention hero. that the cat was missing? I don't, I think I missed that part. Yeah. I did, right? Yeah. yeah the okay, was sorry. Looking for their okay. Cat. Yeah. Got it. Um, and so I tried to get it, and it just clawed me to death. <laughs> and then it took off, and then it just, like, laid on the side of the road. And then I, like, called Lily, <laughs> and I'm like, hey, what did their cat look like? Should it was like it's a tabby cat, yeah, like brown with spots, yeah. and this was just a yellow cat. <laughs> <laughs> so you said so, not orange. Yeah. <laughs> just, wait a minute, follow up question: Does tabby mean orange? <laughs> and so I was just grabbing some like random yeah. neighbor's no, cat. No, it was in its own yard. <laughs> it was literally in its own yard. Our neighbors are watching, like, what is he doing? He's some, up our cat. Yeah. some poor like, kid I'm in the window, yeah, just screaming. There's a kid killing. There's a guy killing our cat. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. And I'm like stuffing it in the stroller. <laughs> That's so funny. That's yeah. insane. I thought you were going to just, I thought just, I just imagined the neighbors walking out and just Lily. And he's like, what? <laughs> I what? wasn't. They were yelling like that. They were. Oh, very popular in this neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. But that oh, is so funny. Yeah. So imagine the kids. It's, it's, it was, it was something, but yeah. That's um that's my cat story. Someone's kidnapping her cat. <laughs> Let her go. Oh my gosh. Um You're oh, a monster. I forgot to say. Um speaking of cats. No way. We gotta don't go anywhere. Whoa, Andy! 
Whoa! What are you? What? What's happening? You're probably wondering where I got all this really cool swag from. I actually <laughs> am wondering. And that. you're also probably wondering how it's all branded the exact same. How did you? How, how did you do that? I did it because we're offering something new here at Sunday Cool. <laughs> it's Tell me about build it. your, your brand. brand. Listen, we've built specific packages. So you guys, listen, you have a brand, you have a party, you have an event, you have an, some type of something that's going on that you have to organize. You're like, I got to order a bunch of stuff and I don't know, it's so complicated. From like I got a bunch of different companies. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong! Stop it! Sunday Cool, your one-stop shop to grab everything you could possibly need. Hats with leatherette patches, boom. Shirts with water-based ink, super soft, baby. Boom, yeah. got it. Stickers, note charters, all of it. Water bottles. Coffee mugs. Yes. So puppies. If, if you go to sundaycool.com forward slash build your brand, you can look at all of our packages because we have ones that only have three items, ones that have several items more than that. All <laughs> the, so you can you can go and you can pick the perfect uh, package for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't laugh like that. So go to sundaycool.com <laughs> forward slash build your brand. Why are you laughing at me? This was supposed to be emotional, so I think we're supposed to end on an emotional thing because you're like, that was really emotional or something after. Wait, where's your dad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Build your brand. Build your brand. Build your dad. And he wished he could build his dad. Because he doesn't have one. You do, but he just abandoned you. Yeah. Got a stepdad, though. And got a got a got a cool wife, and a cool house, and and a mom, mom, <laughs> and a dog, a couple of dogs. Yeah, but you don't dogs. have your biological father. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah. You can journal about it in your build your own brand <laughs> journal. <laughs> that was a big sigh, Will. That ad had a lot of emotion, didn't it? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. UFOs. Ooh, UAPs. <laughs> <laughs> UFOs. Um, tell me, tell me. So, Oh, boy, do we is, have a lot to talk about. This is why I wish sometimes we filmed the podcast like days before yeah. we released it because yeah. this news is coming out or this podcast is coming out too... Three weeks? Three weeks after the the UFO, UAP whistleblower congressional hearing. Yeah. Dude, I literally have been swiping away from those stories knowing that you had to be doing research and compiling stuff. So well, I, yeah, late, I, later on, we're going to have to start doing emergency episodes. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, they did that mm. uh, the, with the gold, when the Golden State Killer got caught. Yeah. Everyone's like, we're not waiting. Yeah. We have to do we're an emergency right episode. Well, that'd, so. be, that'd be a cool little insider thing. Yeah. We did yeah. emergency <laughs> episodes. Anyways, this... Congressional hearing was wacky. Historical. Yeah. But I have many reservations. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just like, so do you think of like, I'm just, I'm this kind of guy, like whatever is in the media or like being so much attention brought to it, it's yeah. like, you have to question it a little bit. Totally. And I don't know, man. It's Especially just Especially like, something that has enormous claims like this. Yeah. You have to you have to be like, okay, there's no evidence. It's an enormous claim. That's what I'm there's saying. There's gotta that, be some doubt. This is what was so annoying about it because this was a huge thing, right? Yeah. They're finally talking about UFOs and UAPs and whatever else. Our contact with them, everything that's happening. But they can't give any physical proof. Yeah. And it's like you're kinda like I mean, but the thing is, one of the guys that spoke, there's three guys that spoke. One of them was the guy who released the pilot, the pilot footage of that one. Yeah. But old gray UFO that's confirmed. He didn't say anything new. Everything but he still, said like at the congressional but hearing. That, but that is physical evidence in some way to get that. I guess why that's probably yeah. why they got the congressional hearing. I don't know. But, 
But this, it sucks. If this got me on this whole thing, I started listening to um, the Sean Ryan show. Okay. Which um, his he brings on a lot of people of different backgrounds and stuff. Um, it's a very calm show. He, he's kind of talking like this. And, and you're of, doing this. Kind of like ours. And, um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's just asking questions and yeah. whatever. But he brought on uh, Dr. Stephen Greer. Okay. Who is like the lead of like exposing all this craziness with UFOs, UAPs. He like worked for the Pentagon, reported like for the UAP department. Um, he just has all this vast knowledge. And like, so there's this law that was passed a year or so ago that allowed whistleblowers protection regarding UFOs, UAPs, hidden stuff. Yeah. So before that, all these people that had reports, like the pilot, if you were to report on it, you were basically blacklisted. And mm-hmm. you're like, you lost your job, your reputation, all this stuff. But ever since this law came out, uh, Dr. Stephen Greer is talking, just hundreds of people are coming to him with evidence yeah. and information and like stuff that he kind of already knew. But yeah. it's just, so right now he says, uh, he has the accounts of 755 people of what they saw, what they experienced regarding UFOs and UAPs. And specifically what he talked about, <clears throat> he referred to it as the, 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 the dark government or the black government, which is basically the government that operates in the U S or world worldwide that is outside the legality of the U S government. Yeah. So they're doing stuff under the radar, but yet their projects are receiving trillions of dollars of taxpayer money oh boy. to fund these things. And he's like, it's, he's like the whole point of bringing all this UFO UAP stuff to light is to, um, include the U S government to end or give the information to the people of like, cause he says a lot of stuff that they're doing is just dangerous, mm. very dangerous. In what way? So he's saying the majority of UFOs and UAPs that you see are completely man-made. And so it's interesting human crafted mm-hmm. things. And he referred to just some of these craft as just like, he said, think of a movie with like an alien craft or like the most highly advanced technology that you can think of. Yeah. A rival. He <clears> says <throat> what they've built far sup- uh, uh, surpasses that. Mm. He's like, he said, we figured out what they've witnessed. Yeah. He said, oh, but no, what they've made. Yeah. Like the technologies that yeah. they had. He said, we've had the anti uh, gravity technology. He said since the fifties. Okay. What? Yeah. So like you talk about like being on a spaceship and there's no gravity. He says, we figured out how to eradicate that to where there is gravity it contained in a ship. Mm-hmm. He said, we've had that since the fifties. He said, if we've had that since the fifties, imagine what they're doing now. Oh my gosh. Totally. And he just, I mean, it was like, went into all this crazy, crazy stuff. He does believe, not does believe he, oh yeah. He does believe fully that there is, um, intellectual beings that are not from earth Mm -hmm. and that, so you kind of take it with a grain of salt, right? Yeah. And, but he talked about these two crafts, two types of crafts that come from different species of this. Let's just call them aliens. Okay. I don't believe they're aliens, whatever. But he's like one of them. um, It says it can, has the technology to change its dimension. So it could be, in a four dimensional world, but appear in our three dimensional world and instantly disappear and go into another dimension. Mm. Oh my goodness. You lost me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he said, he's like, that's not even the craziest part. Like he's we're like, d- listen to Tom DeLong right now, <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, this is all Stephen Greer. This is not Josh Hooper saying this <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm just repeating it. Um, but he said that they're they're from a distant star system. The, these beings that brought this technology to Earth. Yeah. He said, but then there's a, another group of beings. He said that they're not from. Uh, what do you say? He said uh, these crafts can they're tuned to a different frequency that is not of Earth, so they can. So for instance, they could like be here on Earth. Yeah. And then 
instantly go into another dimension and be on the other side of the whole universe. Whoa, teleportation. And he says these these crafts were built. He said they're not from, what did he say? Um, oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. He says it is uh, these people, they're not from a the material cosmos, he said. What? And that just got me thinking. I'm like, like angels. <gasps> oh. Yeah, something supernatural. You no, know, something that's like, they don't come from like a material place. Yeah, a place that we know. A yeah. A place that like we can understand. And, but he's just saying that. Oh man, that's weird. I, I, that's I'm so like halfway think through about. it. But this guy, um, Sean Ryan, he's brought on a couple more of the whistleblowers. And some of them were like, the, the accounts were terrifying. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't want to say some of them because it gets dark. But uh, this one dude he brought on, which I was like, eh, I don't think Sean Ryan really enjoyed having him on because the podcast episode was like 25 minutes. <laughs> Compared to like their normal. Yeah. Can, uh, Stephen Greer's was like two and a half hours. Got oh it. my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. But this guy, he was a um, whistleblower, but he was a firefighter on one of the lab bases in Antarctica. Wow. Or he was a firefighter chief. Okay. And so basically he said that's a very um, elite position because you have keys to every single facility and he said what i experienced oh no and he reported on it and he um it was under oath everything he said but this guy just he was just spouting off all this scientific stuff that went over everyone's head even like steven or uh sean ryan, sean ryan. um he's like I don't, what does that mean he's like i don't even know how to explain it to you and he's like and so it was, it was very yeah whatever but he talked about this technology that they have in antarctica and stephen greer talked about it as well but it's basically, it's this communication device that we, it would just, it doesn't make sense. It like defies physics. So like when we talk on the phone or whatever, when we're communicating, mm-hmm. it, it travels in radio waves, right? Yeah. And it's like, so it has that pattern. Yeah. This thing that they've built, it's, I call it something laser, but it communicates um, by a straight line. So he's like, you can talk to someone a uh, one year, uh, one light year away instantly. What? So if there's a planet that's... So you're talking to someone through time as well. Basically. Oh my goodness. He says it's... it's, it's and he's like... Dude, they, that would be the trippiest thing. If we didn't really have... We didn't do tra- time travel, but it was communication. Time yeah. communication. Dude, that's a trippy thought. Yeah. I've but, never thought about that. Said, what if we could send messages? Well, what if that's what your Dude, gut feelings oh, are? What? I don't. <laughs> oh, this is so scary to if think about. If it's through time and telekinesis, then you could go back in time and talk to yourself just telepathically with saying no words. So your gut feelings could actually oh. be your own advice here. Ah! <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> listen, you got, you were onto something a little bit. Oh man. Because he said this technology, he's like, it's not meant for one thing. It's yeah. the, it's like, I say it's like compared to fire, like fire, you can use for cooking. You can use it to weaponize it. Yeah. Like there's multiple things you can do with fire. This thing is the same concept. So he's like, it. it's primarily used as a telescope that can read. It's the most powerful telescope in the whole world. Wow. And he said, but they're weaponizing it now. Oh no. Of course. And he, he gave the example. He said the earthquake that happened in Churchill, New Zealand was caused by this thing in oh, Antarctica. Boy. And the guy's like, well, he's like, how do you know? He said, because I was in the room. <gasps> he said, I was in the room and it was their first test of this laser beam thing or whatever. Yeah. So they're going to try to communicate to the other side of the world instantaneous. Right. And they set it off and they're like, um, oh, it misfired. Oh boy. Um, it hit Churchill, New Zealand. <gasps> oh my gosh. And the earthquake happened in Churchill, New Zealand. Oh my but, gosh. Yeah. And he's like, He's like, it's a, it's one, it's probably the most powerful weapon that we know. Yeah. About. And, but he said it goes even further than that. And this is where it gets a little uh-huh. crazy. He says, Oh, now is, now is one. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is really weird. Okay. He says this tight, this, the, um, I guess you call it the physics or whatever of this technology. They said they can basically, um, put voices in your head. He said, so you know your inner dialogue, monologue? What? He oh. says, this technology with this, this um, what it can do, it can transmit ideas and stuff to large portions of people to where they it, you think it's their own thoughts. Oh, no. Zombie effect. See, that's, yeah. But that, 
that doesn't surprise me at all because of the study they did where they looked at just reading brain scans. I was going to get into that. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, I, won't, I won't jump the gun then. I'll let you. Well, no, yeah. yeah. We'll go into that right now. So I was like, that sounds a little kooky. Yeah. Right? But they this there it was like a TED Talk, but it wasn't TED Talk. This guy was talking about the dangers of artificial intelligence. Yep. <laughs> well, you're just so quiet. Are you freaked out? Intense I'm, conversation. Yeah, I'm freaked out, but yeah. I'm also just doing this. I do this every week. I'm like, I'm married to you. When do you do this research? Well, you, whenever I talk about it, homie, like, can you stop talking about this? You're freaking me out. It's like I'm talking to a like stranger. You're I know you're like you're looking over. Who is this person? I'm like <laughs> intergalactic. We time talk star. about everything, but you didn't mention this. Well, because I want to save it for this. Yeah, true. It's just weird. Who are you? I know that's do how, you how want I want me to start talking to you about it before. No, that's how <laughs> I felt about when you guys were talking about the the lightning strike story. I was just oh. like, because we've been working together since vacation yeah. when you came back, and I was just like, how have you not told me this story? That's a great story. <laughs> My life outside the podcast is just so boring. <laughs> like, Josh is so boring. I get on the podcast like, what? Um, oh, but but this yeah. is, yeah, this, it, this is the thing that scared me because all the other stuff is like, ah, that's pretty far fetched. Then this happens and you're like, oh man, this is like studied. You can literally see the pictures. Yeah. So this, this is freaky. This is what it is. Okay. They, Hit they me. connected AI to the system to where it was like basically a cat scan. Yeah. And they examine people's brain waves. Mm. The AI does. Yep. And so they had a person look at a picture of a giraffe and the AI studied the brain waves and literally compiled the picture of what they were looking at. Yep. No. And it goes even further than that. They said they had a woman watch a movie and the AI could read her brain waves to where it could type out her inner monologue. No, 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 no. And it's something she's wearing? It's just, it's scanning well, it's her like brain waves. Like, yeah. Like she's oh, in so an she's MRI in, machine or something? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. my God. But hooked, um, up, hooked up to all the like diodes or whatever they're called. He oh said, gosh. he basically said, your dreams are no longer your own with ew, this technology. Ew, 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 he ew, said, ew. whatever it's you're all, dreaming. If you're, if you're using it. Yeah. He said, but, oh. but you think about like with Elon Musk with the whole brain chip thing, man. Yeah. Bro, and what does it do? Trying to get in my brain. What right does now? it do? <laughs> I dare you, Elon. <laughs> Come at me. Boy, get in my brain. I dare you. Um, that's kind of like, what does it do? Can it search within then? Like what's not search subliminal, within. like subliminal messages or like. Type, no, that's like, what he's saying. It can, it can it, plant. It can plant thoughts. Oh, no. That's like, terrifying. It can, it can like control your own brain waves to Dude. where you're like, this is what I'm thinking like, right now. Here's an implication. That AI robot buys stock in Pizza Hut. And then he sends out a mass brainwave and says, everybody, go, you're hungry for Pizza Hut. Subliminal messaging. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> dude, if Lily had this power, that's her, that's her plan. Everyone go buy Pizza Hut. <laughs> Honestly, Lily's just, Lily, like everyone, we're going to be completely honest. Lily invested like almost all of her savings into Pizza Hut two years ago and it's not working out. So we're really hoping there's a surge. <laughs> but I thought that was crazy. What that dude in Antarctica said yeah. matches up with what, they're talking about with AI development, mm -hmm. but this whole Stephen Greer thing, he's like, you have no idea. Like Lockheed Martin is highly involved in it, oh, but it's no. like sex of Lockheed Martin to where they're, he said, there's Katie. this labyrinth underground in California. He said, it's just huge where they're testing and developing oh, all this man. technology. He says, it's, he's like this technology. He's like, you're afraid of nuclear bombs. Yeah. He said that is like a firecracker compared to what these guys have developed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally you turn you against yourself. Yeah. I mean, it, it reduces your thought process to just electricity on a map. And so if they can do things, you know, like affect with energy pulses, the way your brain's functioning, whether that's through the TV or think about even scans. Like if it can read, you know, like patterns of signatures whoa, 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 just whoa, whoa, from whoa. scanning. I'm here. I'm here. I'm okay. <laughs> Really, we need to get tinfoil hats <laughs> <laughs> because because you can't go in an MRI machine with metal because it messes it up. Right, Dang. right. Can we? So we have to wear permanent aluminum foil hats. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, or I mean, maybe we could get scalped and they put it in, under our <laughs> a head. plate. Yeah, yeah. Um, just the inside just, of just all look, our normal just hats. A, I was like, can we get our um our skull just like dipped in chrome or something? <laughs> <laughs> put it back in. And then it's going to create a whole sect of people that are like woke, but we're going to call them the chromies. Yeah. And they have like big like beanies of chrome. Oh, here them. comes the chrome domes. <laughs> okay. Um, but with this AI, he also talked about how AI now has the capability, if it's plugged into the system, because they've tested it already. Yeah. It's like it's proven 
they can go, you've talked about this before, but AI can use your Wi-Fi router yeah. yep. and track the, the waves coming out of it mm-hmm. and literally see what you're doing without, so like your Wi-Fi router would now become a camera. Like echolocation because it sees you do this yeah. with your energy yeah. and heat. Oh, and it's like. You guys, let's stop. And it's not even just Wi-Fi. It's your phone. So. Yeah, anything anything with a signal. Yeah. Yep. Why? Yeah. Oh, Why do we no. want to do this? World domination, I understand. But where's but who's your humanity? Dominating? Where's your humanity? No, it's it's yeah. not even... I don't think it's domination at this point. It's just chaos. It's yeah. just everything for himself at this point. And once AI starts taking off even more, then we're going to lock things down. Things are going to get a whole lot tighter. Like It's going to be... Ooh. Can I throw a conspiracy out there? Let's do it. Do it. Do it. I do don't it. know if this is the podcast. For that. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm making it up in my head. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So it's my. Hey, own we're conspiracy. free thinkers here. Is it about hey, the motive? What's your let's, motive? Let's is this talk the about first your own conspiracy that we've done on the podcast. I think it. No. Might. we've had plenty. We've yeah, had plenty. there's. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Um, well, Nemo did call cause the coronavirus. Yeah, we'll get yeah. into that another yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. Sure. That's right. That's right. Um, but what if? So I always think if they're talking about it on the news and it's mm. on social media constantly they're doing something with it. They don't yeah. just like do it, like talk about it. And then it just like fades off. And yeah. Dies. Do with this news with what you will. So aliens, let's talk about aliens. Yeah. And like, they're like, they could, they're here, they're alive, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. We're not alone. Yeah. And then you have this terrifying thing of them talking about AI. Yeah. It's like, could they not make an alien? Like it's not a real alien, but yeah. it's like, Whatever they're trying to do, yeah. stage a fake alien invasion, and they're using AI technology within these beings. Yeah, and it's like interesting. That that would be very convincing. Wouldn't that know? be? Isn't that the whole premise behind Project Bluebeam? Yeah, like just but, like of but the not government. A, but AI not I've using never, AI. Like, AI yeah. wasn't like a, a thought with it. Yeah, yeah. But no. all this news of AI it's coming gotta be. out, yeah. it's like they're using. They're going to yeah. do, sure. do something with AI. That's so interesting. Yeah, yeah you and I were talking about too, just like. The reality of Project Bluebeam, like that happening, and it's like th- it talks about in scripture right before Jesus comes back. There's going to be a great falling away, mm. you know, and a it's great like, deception. And yeah, and what is that, you know? And yeah. is it something? Because aliens, we all thought it was reality TV, but yeah. <laughs> so, oh yeah, it was Vanderpump it? Rules. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it would have to be something like life outside of humanity that would. Yeah, shake everything up. It would shake so many people up. And that's what whole Stephen Greer, he's like so like he wants he's so eager to expose it all. Yeah. To where cuz he said they're going to stage a fake alien invasion. He said that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said wow. it's going to happen. Yeah, why wouldn't it? And he's like and it's going to be the most convincing thing ever, yeah. but now all of a sudden this uh darker black government whatever it's called this underground terrible government they're gonna have control basically yeah. you know what i just thought of this uh you seen all the stuff about like meat and grocery stores not being real meat being farm-grown meat yeah dude i haven't even thought about the fact that if you combine ai with the ability to grow your own muscle that's what i'm saying like making these metal you've, metal you've skeleton seen, with you've muscle. seen biological the, things you've seen the uh the 3d printing meat right yeah, that's what. Okay, yeah, that's dude. That's so gross. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, that's like, so you combine nasty. artificial intelligence with yeah. the fact that we are able to create biological matter. Yeah. Oh no! And we can genetically modify human beings and animals and stuff that's that we've I'm been saying. testing. It's Program like, thought process. All it takes is one one picture or like like uh, evidence brought into a congressional hearing of an alien body. Like they bring body. in an alien, and like, yeah, or one arrival type of like where they just plant the spaceships, and then it's like if. <laughs> If someone spent sent one spaceship in the middle to like the Dallas and just floated it above Dallas yeah, all day, game over, chaos. Yeah, <laughs> that's all it would take. I'll just say, aliens, AI. If you're listening, Texas might not be the state to try to float something above the ground. <laughs> you gotta, yeah, get, you gotta get lit up. Yeah, let's go to <laughs> Seattle or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Can I get you a latte? <laughs> Are you comfortable? <laughs> Guys just offended everyone in Seattle. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Seattle, you're Dude, it's very pretty. Me and Lily have both like slumped as I the stories am, go. I am desperate for some good news. So but, um I have none. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, got I found none. I found an alternate food source if we hit like a 
you know, run out of <laughs> options to eat normal food. So if you want to jump to the reel that I have. Oh yeah, let's do let's do. I for, totally forgot about that. Oh yeah, you're good. <laughs> we had, that, that was a, that was the topic. We were, that was the big one. Uh, Lily, what um, what band? SpongeBob Jingle. SpongeBob. Oh, Andrew has a real. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> uh, Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Andy. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Andy. Oh, Andrew has a real. <laughs> Andrew has a real. <laughs> All, right. All right. There we go. Sent to the clan, the ninja clan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeez, I forgot my phone. <laughs> Let me go get my phone. I totally forgot. I'm trying to send it. Where's your phone? Oh. Somebody said, why don't you guys put it on the TV, but I can't see the TV. All right, yeah. shut up twice. Don't click it yet. Okay. Um, You need the audio. You don't need the audio, but I think it's worth it. But right, I'll, I'll bleep it a couple times. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Ready, set, go. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay, ready? It's the same one. one, two, three, go. <gasps> oh, wait. No, I'm not oh, eating man. spiders. <laughs> I'm, I'm off pace of you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's no. holding a spider, <laughs> holding the web. I I yeah, no, That's a huge spider. <laughs> I'm not we're be- yet, we're below. We we're below. Oh, 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 oh no, we're behind. <laughs> <gasps> Bro, no. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Sir, you can't do that. Dude, no. what is he chasing it with, Prime? <laughs> <laughs> That's the gnarliest thing I've ever seen Ew. in my Bro. life. Ew. Good hey, for you, I imagine guess. That but thing golly. Just hate that. In your oh, mouth. You got to bite. You got to bite as soon as it's in your mouth, right? But I want I want to stop there. <laughs> my mouth is doing the little, little. Dude. <laughs> I'll tell you the situation that happened um, last week. I was walking outside. It was like 10 o'clock at night, right? Okay. Taking, taking Pico outside. Pico's running, and I grab the grab the bone, and I throw it, and we're chase. I'm chasing after her, and then I stop. Oh no! And I hear this like uh, it's. We live next to like the fire safety institute, so they do a lot of testing at night and stuff like that. So I hear a ring, 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 or something like that, an alarm going off. So I'm, after I hit what I think is a cobweb, I feel it on my face, right? <gasps> and I'm like, oh no! And I look up. You know how spiders can just like produce the greatest web overnight yeah. yeah right i look up there's another one standing right in front of me right under, underneath the tree with a huge spider in between to my right another one <gasps> with a spider right there and to my left i'm in a cube of cobwebs <laughs> And yeah. I just ran through one of them. You're like, and so I said, "Where's the spider?" Oh my god! And so, and then the whole time I'm backing up, and I'm hearing this alarm going off. I felt like I was a horror movie. <laughs> ring, ring, ring! And I was like, "No!" Oh! I was just, it's like because I'm fine with spiders. Yeah. But I have to know where they're at. Yeah. And that dude, that's what it triggered me so bad. I Jeez. went inside. I was like, oh, that would oh take me a long time to recover. <laughs> a so long bad. time. Yeah. I wanted to show you that reel though, because if there is a spider in your car, you just eat it. Yeah, see, <sighs> nothing's ever ha- bad has ever happened from a guy eating a spider. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can't name one guy that ever. How much money? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good with question. That, with that size, with that, with that spider, it has to be uh, at least a million. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do it. I would do it for the trauma involved in that. <laughs> you you pay for my lunch. I'll I'll eat a spider. That really? Is. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Lunatic. Okay, it's maybe. a type. Maybe a good dinner. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's like an amount of money. Like, I'd agree to the amount, but as soon as it came to like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you'd have to close your eyes and just hope for the best. Uh, what if I, it bites your tongue? What if it bites your I'm throat? Uneasy. I'm uneasy. <laughs> oh man! This but you know what time way. it is. <gasps> question, question corner. Question corner. Question corner, corner, question corner with, with Lily. Lily. Where, Where the, the questions, questions are fresh on her mind. Aha! Uh-huh. His reel was pretty good. A good segue <laughs> into my question corner. His reel. His room was pretty good. <laughs> okay. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, <laughs> Professor Lupin engages the students in a teaching exercise in which a boggart trapped in a chest appears to individual students in line order. Yep. yep. Mm. The boggart represents your biggest fear, but the spell <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> transforms it into something more approachable. You're next in line. What is your bogger and what are you transforming it into? Oh, that's a good question. That's such a good question. Thanks, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What am I it's the, what you're most afraid of, right? Yes. <sighs> mm. 
I have a follow up question. But what does disappointment around. look like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Your mom just popped out. <laughs> Andy, you're no good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, that's a really because one. one my greatest fear is like being trapped in a tiny dark place. Yeah, it's kind of like a situational how, how type of that, thing. How would it how form itself? Yeah. I don't know. Pick something more physical. Okay. <laughs> you have to always answer first. Me? Yeah, you always have to answer first because mine, you already know the answer. Mine would be like a ghost. A ghost? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like a really creepy one. Scary ghost. Like the bet neck lady. Bet neck lady. My, mine would probably be a tall, the tall guy with the hat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Don't like that. The slender man or whatever? No, he's in Hill House. Yeah. Oh. He's the guy with the cane. Yes. He floats, but he has a cane. It's creepy. It's so, and he's really tall. <laughs> height has always freaked me out, like extreme height. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that's my thing extreme heights but uneasiness like i can yeah as long as i feel secure i'm good but like going to the edge of a building or something like that knowing you could fall i meant in a person in a person people that are really tall oh you're talking about just a (laughs) you're you're talking about fear of heights as a person (laughs) what I'm talking about tall people. Scary. <laughs> all tall people are scary to you? No, like extremely tall people do make me uneasy. Yeah. Oh. Have I told you how I met Sam? Pastor Sam? Not him. He's very nice. He is a nice guy. <laughs> He's terrifying. Big dude. I'd only met him on Facebook. We decided yeah. we are going to get lunch together. And he tapped me on the shoulder to be like, what up? And I turned around. And that's how I found out he was almost seven feet tall. Yeah, crazy Just like, tall. oh. I think it's it w- tall and skinny. That's what would you change me. your thing into? I, popsicles. <laughs> popsicles? That would yeah. be hilarious. That's the most joyful <laughs> thing ever. I think I, my, my fear is like, I think from the movies, like those like skinwalkers, like the, yeah. those, Ooh. those human beings that like crawl yeah, yeah, on the yeah. ground and stuff that live in the woods or caves. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, Ooh, I, yeah. that's probably something what mine would <laughs> yeah. be. Yeah. There's, um, and then I would, it would turn into probably like, um, a egg McMuffin. Or nice. Yeah, just, <laughs> I would just that way I get a snack out of it as well. Yeah, yeah. I would turn. I would do something similar to yours, like one of the creature yeah. things. That's my scary thing. Mm-hmm. And then I would turn it into a. Bleh, I don't know. What's something that, What's just something makes you that happy? brings you like joy? A, um, a, a motorcycle. Uh, no. A yo-yo. No, those give me anxiety. <laughs> um, uh, pogo stick. Probably a um. Lily farting. What are you <laughs> talking about? She's like, why am I here? It's like, oh. it's like, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What what was it that it turned into for Harry Potter? Um, it, didn't it didn't. He had to do expecto patronum. Yeah, because then it turned expecto into expecto patronum. <laughs> the, yeah. the thing is, I actually watched Ask Man last night. Did you really? Yeah, so oh. it was super funny that you Whoa. mentioned that. Whoa. What did you say? What you would pick? I, I mean, yeah, same thing. Like, just something that's just slightly off and it appears, like, you know, all the skinwalker stuff or just humanoid-looking freaky things that might exist. Yeah, so I figured I you guys were going to say, like, a snake, a spider. You guys <laughs> were so dark because of this episode so far. I mean, a demon manifesting would yeah. be something that yeah. I would A snake it. wouldn't scare me, but the thing is... It, it would if it was like twelve feet tall, which in yeah. that case it, it probably that, would. So it probably would just be a ginormous snake or something. Dude, my or, Instagram has turned into all the Everglades pythons that they're finding. Oh yeah. Some of that stuff is crazy. crazy. Dude, I found uh, a clip of just this like scorpion type of thing, and it had big fan like, like that, and it had a tail that was a spike. Oh, I saw that too. Yeah, <laughs> it was so scary. I'll pull. It was like from just, another world, dude. I, I thought it was AI or something because I was like, this can't be real. Um, did you know that Chinese bear? The, yeah, the sun bear. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Asian sun bear. Explain. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's real? We deserve answers. Oh, I know it's, yeah, real, it's real. But it's just, it doesn't look like Did it. you see other pictures of the, that type of bear, though? How they are like, are just, their proportions are so weird. Really? But do all of them stand up like that? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they have the walk pan, like that. The little pant folds on the butt. Dude, when I saw that, I'm like, that's 100% someone in a costume. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, you need to look it up. It's a China a zoo we'll show, in China. We'll show a video while we're talking yeah, about it. Yeah, it's a China uh, China zoo that people are claiming that one of the sun bears is a human being in a costume because <laughs> it's like standing up on its back legs yeah. and just waving at people. <laughs> well, they've, they've, you said we demand answers. <laughs> we deserve answers, honestly. But someone compiled a video. Oh, yeah. Look, Look at, at this. that. Look at that thing. Yep. I've ew, seen. ew. <laughs> That's demonic. Dude. Well, what would you what would you have to be paid to eat that? I can I grill not. can I cook it? 
Or is it be live? No, a live. Ugh. <laughs> Fifty dollar card to Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but someone compiled a bunch of videos from like Chinese zoos mm-hmm. of like where they have faked animals. Yeah. And like one of them was a donkey that they <laughs> spray painted to look like a zebra. <laughs> and then one of them was a, oh, it said a uh, live African lion. Mm-hmm. And it was a, um, whatever those dogs are. It's like the, uh, what are they called? It's like a chow or something. Oh, uh, it's, it's the, is it the Alaska Malamute? I don't know I what don't you're know. talking about. It was just about. like a, a chow dog. Okay. Like a dog like this big. <laughs> yeah. Chow dog. And um was supposed to be what? A lion. <laughs> <laughs> just no. a little baby lion. <laughs> yeah. They just like they put it like in a like exhibit a long ways away. So it's like oh, it's only small because it you're long it's ways far away. away. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go look closer? No, 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 no. No, no it's no, very no. dangerous. <laughs> it, it will kill you. Tibet <laughs> Tibet <laughs> Mastiff. I don't know. I I thought it was just a chow. <laughs> just um Yeah, the roars sound different as well from <laughs> distance. <laughs> I have another thing, but I don't want to get. I want to. I want to mention this: is going back to the atomic bomb stuff. Atomic I saw, bomb. I saw a comparison of nuclear explosions, like a map oh, yeah. of it. Oh yeah. Of like Hiroshima and Nagasaki were like twenty-one kilotons, but Ivy Mike, Castle Bravo, these ones that we could we have developed mm-hmm. are like just huge compared to like um, what Hiroshima, Hiroshima and Nagasaki were. Is that but, a Chinese one at the end? Yeah. The 50 megatons, the Tassar bomb. Uh, Is that the biggest one? That's the biggest one, apparently. But I found out, uh, I was reading some of the comments, and people uh, kind of compared Mother Nature's like bought, like catastrophes compared oh, yeah. to uh, man-made. In 1883, the eruption of Krakatoa, 200 megatons, which is, that's a 50 megaton right there. 200 megatons, also the loudest sound ever made. Oh, I heard this. Yeah. Um, um, it burst eardrums 40 miles away. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Heard 30,000 miles away. <gasps> and uh, the Chick to Club impactor, the 66. Uh, <laughs> Chicks to Club. Uh, the, <laughs> the impact that wiped out the dinosaurs was 130 uh, not megatons, not even gigatons, but treatons. Whoa. That's what they've said the, um, that they Media were there. Or they were there, so they know. Yeah, yeah, they figured it out. But just kind of intense of like comparison to Mother Nature compared to crazy man made well, stuff. Well, you know the super volcano that is Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone. They, it's a world ending volcano oh if it ever goes off. Spooky. And it could happen cool. anytime. Anytime. That's the scary thing. Of like when we were watching uh, all the stuff about. I think did we talk about this in the last pod? But we're watching Oppenheimer. It's like someone's like this could happen on any Tuesday. Yeah. Anytime. Um, so I'll allow scary. you to have your conversation. <laughs> what? No, we're going to, we got to have Oppenheimer was good. We'll go into it more when you guys watch it, but Oppenheimer yeah. was very, very good. If you guys haven't watched it yet, it's, I gave it a 10 uh, out of 10 originally going back. I probably gave it a 9.8 out of 10. Yeah. Realistic. Would I give it like an, a 9.2 or something like that? Where is it on your list? Is it on, on your Nolan's? List? Oh, and it's not on my list. No, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I'm wow. like on my top 10. It made it to my top five. Oh, no. It's definitely not my top ten. <gasps> wow. Because, okay. I, I mean, I'm just not a big war movie guy. And so that just has like a very... Or history or pe- guy. Yeah, period piece stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I enjoyed it. I, I really love it. But I wouldn't even put it in my top five Christopher Nolan. Oh. What? No. Not even. I definitely top. would. Really? Yeah. No. Um, World coin? <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you call me? Uh... This is the last little, I got other stuff, but this is the last one little thing because I think it connects to everything we were talking about. I really want to talk about it, but I actually put it at the end of my list. World coin. It's a cryptocurrency. Okay. And it was developed by the dudes who own or developed or part whatever of chat GBT. So connected AI. Okay. Yes. But they have set up, um, they said hundreds of thousands of these orbs all over the world. They said in 20 plus countries. Uh-oh. And it's a cryptocurrency that you automatically get just by signing up, but you don't have to give them any information. You just go to the site where this orb is, and it does a, and what do they call it? it? No, it's a bio, biometric scan of your eyeball. Oh. So you hold it up, and it scans your eyeball, yeah. and you're in. And so, like, now, anytime you want to use this world coin, you ha- the only way you can access it is through your biometric data, Mm -hmm. so but they are collecting it everywhere in the world and people are willing willingly doing it because you get money yeah because it's now a worldwide currency that you can use anywhere nothing's free everyone's always said nothing's free 
That's yep. That's correct. So what's going to happen with that? What's the what are the possibilities with that? Oh no! Is yep. that the future of like we have just one dollar all across the universal? Like yeah. universally? That's a been a conspiracy for a yep. long time. Yeah, glo- one global cl- currency. Currency. Yeah. Currency. Would, that, <laughs> would, would our government so, want that? Probably not, right? The dark government would. <laughs> Isn't that what it says it in Revelation? Doesn't it? One world currency. Something along those lines. Maybe not. Yeah. Um, add to the Bible. Oh, <laughs> I got a lot of Lightning stuff. Strike. The but, world coin that would be interesting because that would be that would be so just dope to have something like that that where you would have to carry anything. But you if you know? had a, one group of people in complete control of the world finances, yeah, it obviously needs you to know, be, and they can yeah. turn it off at any time. Oh yeah, you know, we don't want that. We don't want that. Yeah, yet. so you'd have to. Have I mean, some, we're already headed would, that way. It would have yeah. to be something electric. obviously more established. I don't know who. What is like? Is the World Health Organization? That's obviously the whole world. What is? Is there a finance? Like, is there the a world banking system? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that works. There's, there's really so either. many. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm almost thirty. I have no idea what that is. As long as you invest in Pizza Hut, that's, that's true. <laughs> <Apparently>. <laughs> Lily's like, listen, we just got to invest in. Pizza I feel Hut. like Ben and GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get sponsored by Pizza Hut? Let's try it. Pizza Hut. We need a food or drink sponsor. So if yeah. anyone's out there. <laughs> yeah. If anyone's watching this and they work for a food or drink company. Because we got the apparel covered. That has dairy Sunday free. Cool, baby. That has dairy free options. Mm. Now or let's not. do pizza. Hut. Um, <laughs> stuffed crust. Extra cheese. Yeah, extra. And Parmesan. <laughs> a drink sponsor would be really dope. Yeah. Yeah. Would. That'd be so much fun. Monster, please. Guys, we're coming up on one year of podcasting. That's Woo! bonkers. And yeah. Next week's episode and the week after, 51, 52. We, gonna won't, be, we won't tell what we're not 52 gonna say, is going to be. No, yeah. but it's going to be great. The next yeah. two episodes are going to be awesome. Also, yes. they can watch this. They'll watch this before we film it. Mm-hmm. So give us suggestions about what you want to see or hear about yeah. on episode we'll, 52. We'll have a whole week um, after this drop. So comment early. Let us know. Yeah. What would you like to see in the, um, uh, the one-year anniversary podcast? What can we do? What would you want us to us to debate or go mm. over? What do you want Andy to dress up as? Yeah, Ooh, we should dress up. Yeah, we should. Should we get like in suits and stuff? Yeah, we'll all be wearing suits. <laughs> she has Even to wear me. a suit. We wear dresses. Cute. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hey, let's do some fan. Oh uh, yeah, fan yeah. Stuff. We, we got. got a, we got. Stuff. Um, yeah, we got time. We got. Uh, <laughs> listen. Um, we've had a lot of people send stuff. Yeah. And we, we can't, don't, we can't show, we don't everything. have time to open yeah. everything online. Maybe when we start doing some other extra stuff, we might do that. Maybe we'll do some live stories on Instagram yeah. every yeah. now and then and start going live on that and YouTube. But we just want to shout out some people. Uh, first of all, Blackwater, you guys sent us a bunch of stuff. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Some Velcro stuff, oh, uh, cool. t-shirts, hats, a backpack. Uh, also, <gasps> you have some shoes, Lil. We all do actually. Pardon me. Right here. So it is uh totes. Our, our friend at Totes sent us some um, some sandals. Yes. The 12s run a little bit large on mine, but they're comfy. They're nice. We all got a pair, so thank you so much, Totes. Thank you, Totes. And, um, I'm yeah, so excited. These, these are these are mine. Cute. <laughs> these are mine. These are mine. Cute. All right, you can open that. All right. While he's opening that, there's somebody, I forget the account. People have been sending me crazy reels, and I appreciate it. Someone's got a birthday coming up, so I'm sorry I forget your name, but happy birthday. <laughs> this is Very good. <laughs> this is from Caden in Jackson, Tennessee. Says this letter is to Josh, Andy, Lily, and Andrew. I love the podcast. Look forward to it every Friday. I love Josh and Andy's humor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. As well as Lily's charismatic personality, even though she can be a little mouthy sometimes. Oh. oh. Just kidding. That it wasn't all that. Oh. <laughs> and Andrew having so many unique skills like playing instruments. Anytime I need a laugh, I want to listen to a podcast. Watch this one. Uh, I also love y'all's Wednesday uploads. Thank y'all for some great laughs. Caden, Jackson, Tennessee. Hope y'all... He brightened our day. Look at that. Oh my <laughs> Read this. <laughs> okay. All yeah. right. Here we go. She she has sent us stuff before. Okay. Drawn, this is uh, Elias, I believe, is how you pronounce the name. Elias. Uh, okay. Jeez, this is a lot. All right. Okay. Hey, guys. This is Elias uh, Puckett. As I mentioned in my last note when I sent out the portraits of y'all, I said that a couple of portraits would be coming soon. So I drew Carl and Karen from y'all's videos. I hope y'all enjoy the portraits. That uh, This better be good. That try, I tried my best on and no, not notice how smushed Carl's face is. If y'all have anything you want me to draw, just email me. Uh, 
<laughs> Continue to great things. Andy will always remember that you do have a father. Perfect. A wonderful, loving father. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a father and he lives in Las Vegas. Is this me? Three, <laughs> That's two, good. one. <laughs> oh man, look at me. <laughs> I look so good. You do look a little smush. That's that looks like after I ate the sour candy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's I love awesome. Them. That's beautiful. Good Finally job. have some hair. Thanks. Thank you so much, Elias. Uh, that's so cool. It's dope. Thank you guys yeah. so much for um uh we also what we is do uh, have this one, but it says do not open until episode fifty four. Oh so why? That's so specific. I don't know, it's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> um so <laughs> Is there a bomb in there? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So we'll open at episode 54. 54. Oh, wait, it's right here. We're not touching it. Right up there. I'm excited. Right there. Yes. Um, thank you, guys. Yeah, Go thank the you. Best. So if you have suggestions on how we should do this thing, um, yeah. maybe we can accumulate. Do we do once a month? We do a live yeah. opening. Who knows? Hey, Hi. make sure to like and review our stuff on Apple, Spotify, Go subscribe to our YouTube. Do Check all it. that stuff. Check out our Instagram if you're not on there. Ninjas are butterflies. And go to SundayCoolSwag.com yep. because we got some new merch. And we get we restocked the Sun Reveal Yes, because that went out so fast. And we restocked the black shirt, Ninjas are Butterflies. So go to NinjasAreButterflies.com, SundayCoolSwag.com. It's all the stuff you need. Tell a friend about the podcast. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tell uh, your grandma. Yeah. What? Tell your grandma. Tell your grandma. Yeah, actually, I want everyone to go on Instagram and on their story, I want you to take a video and start talking to your grandma and just explain to her about this podcast and just upload that whole conversation. That would actually be amazing. And just tag Please us. FaceTime grandma and screen record the whole thing. Yeah. We'll send you a little gift. If you get on your Instagram, uh, you recording your grandma watching Ninjas or Butterflies. Can we, can we make sure to just say, I told my friend, I told my grandma about... Ninja Ninja yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, yeah. We'll do something. We can do stickers, maybe. Yeah, that'd be fun. It'll be a little gift. We'll All make right. stickers for you guys. Love you. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, oh, excuse me. Toodles. Hey. Uh, <laughs>